<laughs> if one thing is for certain, it's, it's for damn sure that Manny Pacquiao does not like gay people. This is what he posted to his Instagram and then he took it down. If a man has sexual relations with a man, one as does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. Now, after he got dropped by Nike, after he got dropped by pistachios, after he got dropped by God knows who else, um, he just won't stop. This is when Bible thumping goes wrong. Now I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit the comments that he made. He's a dickhead because, like, for for, for example, what if Floyd Mayweather would have said some shit like that? What if Tyson Fury would have said some shit? Hell, anybody. I don't care who you are. When it comes to what you, whether you like him or not, in this day and age in society, you don't say shit like that. Now, he's supposed to be running for Senate um, in May in the Philippines. I'm thinking, you know, he should just drop out. You know, I don't know how many gay people there are in the Philippines, but this guy, this guy's a savage. This guy's a savage. Now, remember, he did compare to, um, to gay people to animals, basically saying, you know, that if you were to engage in homosexual activity, then, you know, you're lower than an animal because animals don't do it. That's just paraphrasing. But for him to then post some shit on his Instagram, we I, we know it says it in the Bible. But but he for some reason thinks he's entitled to say, "Hey, look, see, look, I said it, but it's in the Bible." And they post it on his Instagram, and he's wondering, "Listen, there's no real okay." As they say in entertainment, there's no such thing as bad publicity. But going into what could be his last fight. And what is a fight he could possibly lose? He don't want a whole bunch of gay people out there um, boycotting his fights and everything like that. He's still wearing his Nike gear and they dropped him. I understand he's made $150 plus million dollars fighting Floyd Mayweather. But it's like, God damn, you lost your Nike contract though? And then, you just, and then this is not the first time he said some shit like this. He condemned the gay people to death like two years ago. No, three years ago. So this is nothing new. No, four years ago, about four years ago. This is nothing new for Manny Pacquiao. It's a well-known fact that he don't like gay people, but he needs to keep his opinions to himself or they're going to keep going into his pockets. This is outrageous. Of course, he took that shit down off his Instagram. He's smart. Somebody probably looked, maybe it was Boo Boy, and was like, yo, you fucking dickhead. You going to post this shit again? And him sitting look, looking at the Bible, Bible thumping. He deserves everything he gets, honestly. You can't support shit. It's like this, you're a dickhead. If, even if it's your, like, okay, you can have your own personal opinion. But in this day and age, you can't have your own personal opinion on Instagram and on Twitter and all kind of shit like that and then apologize for it. Because we know you don't mean an apology, especially when you go do the same shit again. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.